Now I feel underdressed, but I mean, <laughs> I got my Arrested Development shirt, but none of these players have Arrested Development shirts. We have Emery versus Astwisk. Astwisk, uh, he, did, he did my boy Aggro dirty a couple weeks ago. He did him dirty a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. So, you know, uh, definitely definitely has, 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 uh, is a solid player. I feel like maybe in game number one, he suffers from some nerves, mm -hmm. uh, but I, he's one of those players who I think as the set goes on, he's a little bit more comfortable. He starts tightening it up. I've never actually seen these two players, so... Emery? Dude, yeah, you're in for a treat. So Emery was one of the first uh, competitive players that I met uh, whenever I went to school. Because we went to school together at UT Dallas. Uh -huh. uh, he's just a really nice guy, and it's a pleasure to see the Donkey Kong right back in action. I miss this DK. He used oh, yeah, to play the yeah. DK back in Brawl. Um, I know he has some problems with it because um, the uh, aerials don't cancel nearly uh, as well or, or at all like they used to. Yeah. Um, so he's going to have to kind of adjust a little bit. Like right there, the bear has had a little bit of lag at the end of it. And because of that, you saw a slight punch from Asterisk. But look at these combos from Emery. I mean, we know <laughs> we're not playing with Custis anymore, but you can see that he's still so solid with his DK. Yeah, and especially like I think uh, Marth, um, him as a character, he was he was not very good, but I think with the buff, like like you know the Ken combo, right? That's been confirmed with the buff. Ooh. Yeah, you can you can actually do that now, and so I I really hope that like he starts looking fairs and and, and like a lot of a lot of just fairs uh, with uh, Marth because that'll that'll lead us. Oh, oh my God. Wow, Emery right now is just putting on such a beautiful display before us. Yeah, he's, he's amazing with uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah, like I said, you're in for a treat. <laughs> you are in for a treat. Look at those bears just walling out Asterisk. It says a lot whenever you wall out a character with a disjointed hitbox like Mark. Yeah. Ooh, nice ooh, fair, yeah. but remember, DK That's has some excellent horizontal recovery. So we so might need I to see some of those Ken combos that you mentioned before. Um, as long as you can get him uh, low enough, uh, he won't be able to make it back. Ooh. Ooh. Try nice to test. Yeah. Emery's right there with that pair. He's looking really tough. Sword Dance. <laughs> Pushing him off, but that's the one thing about dealing with big characters in this game is they're so strong by default, and then it can be really tough to KO them. And with rage involved, it all just kind of yeah. compounds together and just makes it bad news oh, bears. Man. Look at that. That fair just swatted away <laughs> that last dog. That was hilarious. Swatted him away like a fly. I love it, dude. It was, it was, <laughs> it reminded me of like Nacho Libre. It was like, get that corn out of my face. <laughs> That's what I thought about immediately. Yeah, dude, Emery, like I said, he's really good. And he also has this Mario, which is pretty solid as well. Um, and I see the the hand moving, so I'm wondering if he's gonna maybe just bust out the Mario just for fun, or if he's just gonna stay DK. Given his performance, it does not surprise me that he's staying DK. We're gonna be going to Lilac Cruise for if game I, number if two. I, if I want a game that good, I stay. Oh DK. yeah. One, okay, here we go. Right, game number two. And I, I think one reason why he might have chosen the stage is because he wants to utilize that disjoint hitbox. Uh, the sword to uh, cover the platforms a little bit better, but that's the thing is that DK also has some really good hitboxes, really good hitboxes. So if uh, for some reason Astwis is stuck on the platforms, he's not safe either. Yes, um, I think another reason is because you know how the stage sort of tilts, right? Um, the DK could probably miss it by an inch if the stage starts to tilt. And with Barth, he, he has a lot of uh, yeah, he, he goes really high with his upbeat. So, so he'll be able to make it back. Uh, that's true. Well, let's see if it pans out for him. He's gonna need something. Right now he has 108%. But there goes the set of fares. Ooh, side beat coming in clutch. It's a nice turnaround grab. And look at him, he has the punch ready to go as well. Oh, oh. whiffs on that shield. But still, it just seems like Emery right now has ha had Astros in the back in the corner. But Astros with that roll is able to make it back. Maybe an opportunity, but nice there. And that's the thing, Emery. Look at the adaptation, right? He's you, he's understanding that Astwisk is consistently uh, trying to uh, come down with those fairs, and so he's doing this thing where he's just reversing himself, and so he has an opportunity to get out the bears as a counter to that. Well, that's the thing about a lot of Marth or like people who play. Ooh, that almost broke the shield. Um, it's it's just like a lot of them like to come down with an attack, so it's easy to shield and punish. That's true. So he's going to have to start adapting around that. 
really famous mantra that did he actually save him there? Uh, I don't might think have. so. He might have potentially saved him. Um, <laughs> but a really famous mantra from from Azin uh, for playing Marth is uh, only swing your sword if you know you're going to hit with it. Um, that's a that's a really important point. Even though uh, Azin said that about melee Marth, I think it's something that still holds true for Smash Four Marth as well. Especially since like Marth has a more lag than it did in melee. So precise. Ooh, that's Ooh, finally going to take it out. But he's at seventy four percent. He's going to have to get a lot of combos in order to bring it back. Let's see what he can do. That's a pretty good start. Twenty percent nearly. He has him on those platforms like he wants to, but Emery is able to just weave out of there. There's a grab, tries to follow it up with the up air like we saw before. These cargo throw combos, man. There's a lot of fun. With the side beat. Maybe I've seen too many Alpha Rat videos, but I just really wanted to go out with the uh, with the shield breaker. <laughs> oh, heartbreaker there. A little bit too far to grab onto the ledge. Doesn't quite make it back. And Emery's able to take that with a pretty convincing 2-0. That was pretty good. Yeah. Put it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> that DK is mean.